Let's go to China. It's fired some shots at you overnight. It's accused Australia of having a Cold War mentality and that it's no threat to anyone. That might be a surprise to Taiwan, but um, how do you respond to that? Well, you know, we face a very complex set of strategic circumstances, which is what's underpinned the decisions that we've made in the integrated investment program, in the national defence strategy, indeed, in all that we've done over the course of the last two years, which has seen a very significant increase in our defence spending. Um, you know, part of that is that the, the global rules-based order is under pressure around the world, but it's under pressure uh, in our region as well, and we are seeing a very significant military build-up in the region. I mean, China is engaging in the biggest military, conventional military build-up since the end of the Second World War. That is just a fact. And it does change the landscape, uh, of the strategic landscape that we uh, are experiencing. And, and it's not just uh, ourselves, but it's all the countries of the region and, in fact, the world that are needing to, to deal with this. And what we assess as a result of this is that uh, going forward, we need to transform our capability. We need to be making sure that we are the most capable nation that we can be, uh, such that we can resist coercion in the future and make sure that we can maintain our way of life. And that is what we are determined to do. We are still dangerously exposed in the short term, though, are we not? Uh, well, uh, it's often been said that, you know, the best time to act on um, defence procurement is 10 years ago because that's what the lead times are when you're talking about major platforms. Uh, but the second best time to act is now. Um, and, you know, we inherited the oldest surface fleet uh, in, since the end of the Second World War. Uh, we inherited a 10-year capability gap on our most important military platform, our submarines. Um, that's what the coalition did when they were in power. It really was a lost decade. So we certainly are faced with a, a significant number of challenges. But we are acting very quickly in relation to them. I mean, the acquiring of a general purpose frigate going forward, for example, will be um, the, the most rapid acquisition of a platform of that size that we've seen in decades. And that's precisely because we need to be making sure that we can bring to bear uh, capability uh, as soon as possible. But in saying that, um, I, I make clear that really that the, the problem that we are trying to solve here um, is not seeking to be a peer competitor with, with America or with China, because that's obviously never going to happen. Um, but what yeah. we are trying to do is make sure that in a much less certain world in the future, we have greater capability and, and we can do that. The problem, though, and we've discussed this a few times, is recruitment. And I know you talked about this yesterday, but it's still a major difficulty. And I know you want to draft in troops from overseas, but why would they do that when they could just join their own respective militaries? Uh, well, uh, what we've said is that we need to be thinking um, about looking at uh, non-Australian citizens. Um, this is a, a, a Rubicon, if you like, which has been crossed by our friends and our, uh, and our allies. If you look at Britain and America, both of those defence forces recruit um, non-citizens into uh, their armed forces. Now, there's a lot of issues that we need to address in respect of those, and it depends on what people were talking about. But, you know, for starters, there's 600,000 New Zealanders who are living in Australia right now. I mean, that, that, that is a starting point. Um, but we really do need to wages be looking at because ways in which... We're... Sure, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, people can find, you know, more, more lucrative professions to follow. You know, what, what, how do you make it more appealing to come and, you know, fight for your nation, so to speak? Yeah, that's a, that's a completely reasonable question, and we're doing a lot in relation to that. I mean, we we have already put in place uh, $50,000 continuation bonuses for personnel to stay on beyond their minimum service obligations. Um, and, and so looking at ways in which we can improve the employment offer, if I can put it that way, is very central to what we're doing. We're doing more in relation to housing, more in relation to health benefits. So we're very much focused on making sure that the offer is better, it's more competitive. We're looking at other mechanisms such as streamlining the recruitment process because it's far too slow um, and we've made real advances there. And, and this is having uh, a positive impact. I mean, the separation rate in defence is declining. This is a very good thing. And we're starting to see recruitment numbers turn around. So, so this is, you know, it is starting to move in the right direction, but we need to do more. I mean, the challenge is not just to uh, retain those who are currently in service, but in fact to grow our defence force through to 2040. 
And to do that, we really do need to be drawing on a, on a bigger pool of people. Now, I would say the starting point there, Pete, is to make sure that we, we have a, a defence force which reflects the full diversity of Australia, principally so that we are able to draw on the, the entirety of the talents of Australian society. Um, but I do think it is... Uh, important that we are looking at some of these other areas and you know those in our Pacific family, uh, New Zealand obviously, uh, you could be looking at AUKUS partners at Five Eyes Nations. I mean there's a range of countries that we could start to think about which would widen the pool okay. and that will take some working through but I think uh, being open to that is really important. All right, Defence Minister and the Acting uh, Deputy Prime Minister, not quite acting. Um, Richard Miles, sometimes you are but uh, not always. Thank you Richard. Talk to you soon.